It's a beautiful morning to raise a flagpole and it's time to get started on a beautiful anodized, black anodized, internal cam cleat, 25 foot flagpole. Helps to have all your goods, all your tools, all your parts, all your uh, materials. And then once you get going on it, it just starts to come together piece by piece. So wow, now your flagpole's arrived and it's time for you to consider how the heck do I put this flagpole up in my yard? Well, you're gonna need some tools. Quick Crete's a good cement. You're gonna need sand to fill your uh, foundation sleeve and level your flagpole. You might need a wheelbarrow or some kind of a tarp. A long handle shovel. I like to use a pry bar if I have one available. Post hole digger, spade, level. You're gonna wanna have a sauna tube, which is really part of your foundation. Saw to cut the sauna tube if necessary. You're gonna need like a bucket for, you know, holding maybe five gallons of water. Screwdriver, flathead Phillips, an Allen wrench possibly, crescent wrench for the ball top. And then bring along some channel locks, duct tape, black electrical tape, tape measure. You could use maybe a string if you want to like line some things up. You might need a knife, an old coffee can. This is my can. At the top of your cement, you're going to want to have a trowel that you can finish it off with and make it pretty or brushed. Like a hammer. But you can just bring out your usual pots and pans and you're going to look like an expert. But we've already got our light in, we've got our location, we've um, taken out the sod. There used to must have been a um, gravel driveway here before they paved. And uh, we, we hit gravel right away. We're going to remove all this. We're going to use our sauna tube. We're going to cut us a pedestal. It's going to make this thing look perfect because it's going to set up the lawn mowing. It's going to set up the drainage. We're going to slope it a little bit. There's going to be a beautiful uh, anodized flash collar over it. It'll protect the flash collar. You know, you see those bent up and beat up from um, lawn mowers and things hitting them over the years. But this stuff is uh, the way to go because it's going to be the form that creates the base that's going to hold up our flagpole along with our ground sleeve. You know, what I'm doing here is I'm marking about 10 to 12 inches because uh, after that at the bottom of the hole, you're going to see it. We're going to bell out the bottom of the hole. We like to make it kind of uh, a little bit bigger at the bottom. You can't get these sauna tubes at uh, regular material handling yards like Home Depot or, and Lowe's and such, but where you get your concrete, if you've got a material yard that's a little more serious, you'll find these. Uh, the commercial guys use them. In this case, time for the gloves to come off. This is going to be what the ground sleeve right here is going to go in, but I'm going to need to cut a section of this. So I just want to show you how I do that. What I like to do is take a guideline, some kind of a chalk line. In this case, I just used some pH 10 halyard. And what I've done is I've marked it 10 inches from the top all the way around. Okay, so if you go over here, you're going to find the same depth. Okay, and so then what I do is I like to take a pen because these things are, are, are wrapped on the bias. It's very difficult to eyeball it, but I go all the way around just using my chalk line, using my guide. And then I end up with a blue line. I'm going to cut it here, and it's going to create a very nice pedestal base that we can count on. We don't need this entire piece to go all the way down in the hole. We just want a piece that's going to give us elevation and drainage. We've dug our hole. We've beveled it with nothing but clay. We like to turn our bar around, just tamp everything down going to receive our ground spike. This is going to go deeper. This is going to be where it's going to rest and concrete will be coming up all around to the pedestal. So we'll measure it up and see where we are. We've got an 18 inch sauna tube for a 12 inch flash collar followed by the base three feet for a 25 foot flagpole. We've got some additional 19 inches, 20 inches here of ground spike and base. And so we have a total of oh, about 53 inches. Let's see where we are. And so we're right now at about 41 or 2 inches. So if we go back and we look at where our second base is, which is where it's going to be, 42 inches. So that was a pretty good eyeball. And 
to get going on this job. Who did that? Flagpole base, this is the ground sleep. Let me pretty it up a little bit, got a little dirt. We like to turn it over and put it in to see if we're getting close. And uh, in this case, we've got the ground, the lightning rod, the, the ground spike in deep. Base is flat and it looks pretty level. We're gonna level it up eventually. Like we showed you, we're gonna have this thing ready to go. We're gonna get everything level and then we want this lip to be higher than this lip. Flash collar around. We want it to be perfectly in the center. When we get it, you know, perfectly level, it probably will be close to that. We want to make sure that these dimensions are all working for us. That the drainage is working, that it's right in the center, that it's going to look just right. Everything level. And then when we put the flagpole in, we'll have some adjustment. Bro. It's the concrete at our portable little pan here, and we're just making sure that we get everything mixed up right with the right amount of water. And uh, we're gonna get ourselves rolling here and it's gonna set up real nice and fast because this is quick set. Okay, so we've got our base of concrete in to the point where we want to take a look at how the uh, pedestal from the sauna tube is gonna fit. We're gonna have it about three inches high, level, slightly under the uh, ground sleeve so the drainage is proper. We'll slope it a little bit. You know, since we know that this is level and center, we're in really good shape. How'd you do that? Uh, you did it. I think Barb did it. There she is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you know how I feel about my can. Okay, we're gonna finish up our concreting up to uh, the top of the base of the pedestal and uh, we're gonna use a trowel use a trowel and we're gonna finish it off and we're gonna slope it and it's gonna be level and smooth we're gonna use some finishing cement and um, this load that we've mixed up here ought to be just about right I'm fixing to finish off the top of the pedestal yes we're concerned with Everything being level, the drainage, etc. But you know, I'm making sure that I got no air bubbles in here. Everything's going along. I'm trying to get everything centered up. Okay. Seems like the ground sleeve's perfect, but the pedestal, uh, the pedestal with the sauna tube is slightly closer on this side. You might see than this. About it's about this little less than an inch. So let's just show you some of the kind of things that we can do. We can take our bar. And um, begin to move things around a little bit, both inside and outside the sauna tube. And we can bring it into the shape that we want it to get it centered. Hey, we're going to use our trowel, we're going to finish it off, we're going to try to slope it up towards the ground sleeve. We're going to use a little finishing uh, cement, although we don't really need it. See how nice this stuff is setting up. Today, you know, we'll cut this cardboard sauna tube away. 